Mm-hmm. Mike McCool here with the Royal Examiner. I'm on location today at Warren County High School. With me is the drama teacher, Steve yes. Harvey. I like your name, Steve. I, I bet you <laughs> yeah. get kidded all the time. But anyway, uh, you got a mustache and you smile a lot. Yeah, so, right. <laughs> so what we're going to talk about today is the play that the drama department is putting on. You do this once or twice a year, I believe. Yes, we do several plays a year. Um, this will be our third out of four plays that we've done this year. Yeah. Um, this is our only musical for this yes, year. Yes, music. People, you know, the community loves musicals. Yes. So the name of this is A Year... With Frog and Toad. With Frog and Toad. Yes. So. It's a musical. I mean, what more else can you tell yeah. us a little bit about the play? So, A Year with Frog and Toad is actually uh, um, a musical about the uh, different adventures that the two characters, Frog and Toad, go through throughout a year. And they go through each season. So, they start in the spring, and they go through summer, and then they go through fall and winter, and all the different hijinks that they can get into being uh, being frogs. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, there's a multitude of characters that are all in the old children's stories from Arnold Lobel's uh, Frog and Toad series. So there's where Frog and Toad makes cookies, um, or they are, um, Frog is sad, or Toad thinks Frog is sad on a rock, and he goes to try to find him, and uh, it turns out he's not sad at all, he just wants to be alone. So it's lots of stories about kind of teaching children about feelings, but also about the value of friendship, and like, what is a lifelong friend? What does that even mean? And Frog and Toad really gives you that um, through, through the lens of two animals, just yeah. being animals. Yeah. Well, there's a little different. You mentioned before we started that this time you're going to play with the band. Yes. Is this the high school band? Mm-hmm. So that's yes. Kind of a cool thing. Yes. There's seven members in the band, and um, we do have some backup tracks as well, just to help us out. But sure. um, yes, we have a live band as well, uh, directed by David Dingus, and then conducted by our choir director Beth Whitney. So now your drama students, they're singers too. Mm-hmm. So you got yeah. multi-talented, aren't you? I know they're a triple threat. They can sing, <laughs> dance, and act. That's that's what you want. Well, is that good? So how? I yeah. s- we were just in the music room before we got started, where they're practicing right now, singing some of the songs with mm-hmm. the with the recording. But uh, they all look talented. So tell us a little bit about the group you have this year. So yes, we have a lot of students uh, from all age ranges. We have freshmen all the way up to seniors mm-hmm. um, that are all very excited to put on uh, a theatrical production again because, of course. COVID kind of really has limited us on the kinds of shows that we can put on, um, especially with musicals. Uh, Musicals are very, very difficult to put on in a virtual world. Um, So we had a lot of excitement for for this particular show because it's one of our musicals. Um, But uh, yeah, we have um, uh, singing talents that I mean, uh, we have Maggie Plosh and Desmond McInturf, who are both the leads. Both of them are extremely talented singers and actors. They both have really on- good onstage chemistry with each other, which mm-hmm. is kind of hard to find sometimes. That is hard to find, um, especially yeah. among teenage girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Desmond is, is really great. They are uh, a fantastic addition to the show. Their comedy is is uh, very cool and very relaxed. Uh, and Maggie also, as well, has really great um, stage presence. Um, she she makes lots of comedic decisions. Um, just kind of like without my direction, just an organic comedian. She, she uh, figured it out, huh? Yeah, very good at doing that. And uh, she's also really great at singing and also surprisingly, um, or incredibly, I guess I should say, really great at, at uh, band. Um, so they we were... We kind of shot ourselves in the foot. Is that called the triple crown or something? Uh, The the quadruple crown. (laughs) Uh, We we kind of uh, shot ourselves in the foot making her the lead because now she can't play in the pit. Right. uh, Because she would be a fantastic addition to that as well. But uh, you kind of, you choose your battles. I know Um, it. And she is a fantastic addition as a lead for When does all this When does all this happen? So the uh, musical is uh, April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. That's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we start at 6.30 at night. Um, It's only an hour and a half show, even with our little intermission in the middle. So that uh, any of the little kids that come see it can come uh, go home straight in time for bedtime. Get in time for bedtime. Yeah. So what's the cost? Uh, the cost is $8 for uh, students and then $12 for general admission. Um, but then if there's any like large groups, you know, if you've got a big family, lots of kids and stuff, the aunt wants to take all the cousins and stuff, um, all they'd have to do is email me at sharvey at wcps.k12.va.us and say, hey, I have this really big crew, but it's going to be really expensive for us and to And I don't come. have any money. And yeah. So right. we want people to come. Yeah, I, mean, I just want people to come. No one will be turned away if no. they 
So yeah. it's one of those things. But you yeah. know, these this money is used to fund these extra activities for the drama department. Yes, yes, we we receive uh, no. Our drama department does not receive any outside funding from the school systems. We are funded specifically from our ticket costs and from our concessions. So in order for us to do any kind of shows, um, we have to pay for rights and royalties for this show. We had to pay um, for the rentals of the materials and the rights and royalties for this um, for copyright reasons. Because of that, every single year we have expenses, right. and um, right. every single year it's paid off by. Uh, community members, That's so right. they are they are paying it forward, paying for next year's right, show. Right. Yeah, because I think people don't it. realize that you know these things you just can't download it off the internet <laughs> and use it. That we have rules and regulations and copyrights which we see all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's why you know we come into this room because if I hear the music playing in the background, <laughs> then we'll get dinged for a copyright <laughs> violation <laughs> yeah. because we don't have a license to put that music uh -huh. onto our video. So yeah. there's a lot of rules and things like that. But and it costs. It's not. I mean, it's affordable yeah. to a point, and they have just in scales, but it's it's a cost, and so it depends on the public to come to these things, pay the money. It's for a good cause, mm -hmm. and the kids love. I mean, they perform much better with an audience. Yes, I mean that's what performers just, they just want an audience. Yes, that's they what thrive they with it. Yes. So what we're going to do? We're going to talk to a couple of your maybe your leading ladies here mm -hmm. in just a minute. We're going to get their perspective on the year and a life of a frog and a toad or whatever yeah. it is, and we'll see how they like it. Yeah, of course. I'm sure they love it. Yes. All right, so you're going to recommend the best people for me to talk to. Of course, yes. And we'll see whoever's available. That's what yeah, will happen. Yeah. But it's great. Steve, nice talking to you. We'll get these young ladies in here. We'll talk to them, and we'll put all the information about the theater that's coming up, the dates and times again, the link to your, where they can buy their tickets and all that, and we'll help get the word out. And we want you to come to and support our high school here. That's April 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 6.30 mm -hmm. p.m. It's a great thing. $8, $12. It's a great evening out. Yeah. It's great. All right. Appreciate it, Steve. Thanks of so course. much. Of course. We're in the choir room. With this is Beth Whitney. She is the choir director. She's going to direct these young, young ladies in our musical. So we're going to record a few seconds of, a, <laughs> young, of young people. all the young people. Young Excuse people. me. But, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, anybody that's got hair, you know, that's it's, it's, it's how, how that is. So, you know, I kind of have to look past that. But uh, we're going to uh, see how you do. I hear great things. I heard it playing in there. That sounds. You all sound great. So uh, we're going to uh, we'll see how it goes. And then we're going to talk to a couple of these young ladies when you're finished. Okay? All right. Break a leg. No, you don't say that in act. You don't say that the same day. Well, we'll we'll definitely appreciate break a leg. All right. All right. Great enough. All right. Yes. Um, so all I have written in my score. So tell me if there's more. Is Toad says block clover. And then Frog says Toad, and Toad says Blah, and Frog says Toad Toad. No, it says no, it's your Toad 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 It's spring. It's spring? Yes. yes. Ding, ding, a ling, ding, a ling. It's spring. It's true. That, that ding, 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 ding is when yeah, that's you should say Toad, your alarm clock is ringing. It's spring. Yes, okay. that is the sound of the alarm clock, that awesome. little trill. All right. Okay, let's see if we can't fit it in. So you're going to have to go a lot faster with those lines then on this section. Um, I will go back with the whole way. Let's see if we can. Well, let's. And now it's easier to start again. That one okay. was right on time with the rest of that. That one, so okay. We made the other one fit okay though, right? The one, um, Black Clover. Yeah. That one worked just barely. Yeah. You can't 
pause or, or slow down. Um, but this one, it looks all right, we heard a few clippets there of the music as the frog and the toad sang. And we're back in here in the, one of the practice rooms and we're talking to Abigail Kanesh. She is the snail in this uh, production here we're doing. So what do you think of all this kind of, how long have you been in drama, by the way? I've been doing theater since I was a kid. So oh, was that like last year? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's really exciting to I have theater back. It is. It is. It's great, isn't it? So you're having a lot of fun. I mean, you is this kind of like an extra thing? You have a regular drama class, and then you're doing this too, or uh, how's that work here in school? So currently, I'm in te our technical theater class, so I get to build stuff for the show and be in it. Oh, you can't beat that. So, what's your favorite part? Um, I just like being with the cast and having that big group together. It's really mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, they seem to be having fun in there. They, they seem to be getting along. I, I, I mentioned uh, when I went in there, I thought they were all young ladies. You had one guy stuck back in the corner there. I, mean, he, I think he took offense. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, he, what, so what does he do in the play? Is that the only male that you have in the play? Yes. Oh, he's, he's got a, one guy in charge with all these women in the room. All right, so tell me, what does he do in the play? He is the father frog. Oh, he's the boss. Oh, hey, he got the best role, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, so these, so all you girl frogs that are out there are all your, are all his uh, children, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. So what do you think about the show? I mean, are you really, is it kind of cool? Is it different? Is, you're playing with a band? I mean, you're, just tell us. What do you think? It's exciting because we get to have all the little children, and that's a change from shows we've done in the past. Right. So it's exciting to be able to, like, have children in the audience and see them start to love theater too. Yeah, it's more a little looser maybe, a little more fun and not quite so rigid of, of, uh, of like a drama or something where you have to, everybody knows the words already. See, people don't know the words of this one, so if you mess it up, no one's going to know anything, but if you're doing something like, you know, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but something like real serious, and you know, like a Shakespeare or something, they all know the words and they, they say, oh, they messed up, but no one knows. That's great. And you have fun. And I think that's what you're doing these things all about is just have some fun. So is that what you plan to do? Are you, what grade are you in? I'm a freshman. Only a freshman? So you're going to be in this drop. You've got three more years left to go. So you plan on uh, doing it for the next three years as well? For sure. You hear that, Mr. Harvey? Mr. Harvey's here with us. So you, at least you got her locked in here for the next three years. So hopefully she's a halfway decent actress. and a, Certainly. She, I heard she was anyway. Anyway, so that's great. So what do you plan to do when you uh, get out of high school? Uh, probably go to a college with the arts of some sorts, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to make a living doing this? What do you think? If I can. You know, we have some graduates from Warren County High School that have actually gone on and are in major TV productions in New York City that graduated right here from Warren County High School. I didn't know, did you know that? I did not. Well, I'm going to tell you about it when we get off the camera. Anyway, it's, a, it's, it's possible. You can do, we have... We have doctors and brain surgeons and lawyers and Indian chiefs. Well, maybe not an Indian chief, but we got a lot of jobs that you can do in graduating right here from Warren County High School. And people have gone all around the world and became famous. So you never know. I mean, you have Mr. Harvey here. He seems to be cracking the whip and, and knocking you in shape. So that's what we want. I notice, uh, is it Emily? You know, Emily at the deck of things, she was did a little presentation on your theaters. She's excited about helping the theater and promoting it and raising funds to make that work. And she did that deck of presentation, and they got went on to state uh, for that. So that was great on the nationals. So you're getting a lot of publicity. Of course, being on the Royal Examiner, you know, you guys are going to sell out. And so, you know, you might have to do an encore production. We're excited. And that's what we want. So so what should people think about, you know, we're, we talk about this play, it's a frog and a toad. Really, what do you want to say about it that's going to make people come and watch it? Um, it's a very sweet story and very relaxed, but also interesting to watch. I guess you can't say any more than that. We appreciate it, Abigail. Thank you so much. And Mr. Harvey, thank you for allowing, inviting us over to take a look at this. We will get this up and share it. We'll put the information where people can buy their tickets. It's April 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 6.30 p.m. at the Warren County High School Auditorium. It's the great seating. It's got good sound. It's a great place to go. Plenty of parking. There's nothing wrong. So mark your calendar either the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and come out to Warren County High School for the frog and toad. There you go. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys, for inviting us over. Thank of you.